In this video, I'll be solving a question and I'll use the question to explain to you how to find the coefficient of a particular term in a binomial expansion. The question says, find the coefficient of x to the power of 8 in the expansion of x squared plus 2y all over x all to the power of 10. Okay, so we just need the coefficient of x to the power of 8. That's what we need. So this is how to do it. The general term of a binomial expansion, let's say we want to expand x plus a raised to the power n. The general term is this. n combination arrow times x to the power of n minus arrow times a to the power of arrow. This is the general term. So if I compare this, my x is x squared. x squared here is a single term on its own. a is 2y all over x. Okay, we need the coefficient of x to the power of 8. Watch till the end. We already have n. n is 10. If you compare it, so n is 10. So what will be the general term of this binomial expression? So the general term of this will be n combination arrow times x squared to the power of n minus arrow. Remember, x squared is a single term. Like what we did here, x to the power of n minus arrow times 2y all over x, 2y all over x to the power of arrow. That's what we did here, a to the power of arrow. Good. So this will be the general term of this binomial. n is already 10. Okay, so we can see 10 combination arrow. Now, just watch. I want to expand this. x to the power of 2 times n is 2n. 2 times minus arrow is minus 2 arrow. Then times 2y all over x raised to the power arrow. 10 combination arrow times x to the power of 2n minus 2 arrow times 2y raised to the power arrow. Just watch. Then this x will also carry a power of arrow. But if I reciprocate it, it will now be x to the power of negative arrow. I hope you understand that. You know that 1 all over x to the power of arrow is the same thing as saying x to the power of minus arrow. So let's combine the two x now. We we'll have 10 combination arrow, 10 combination arrow like we have here. The base are the same, okay? So I will add their powers. 2n minus 2 arrow plus minus arrow. Plus times minus is still minus. So we have this. 2n minus 2 arrow minus arrow. Then the 2y raised to the power arrow will still be there. So in just one more step, we have 10 combination arrow times x to the power of 2n. Minus 2 arrow minus arrow is minus 3 arrow times 2y raised to the power arrow. Good. So when I've gotten this, it becomes easy to do now. We are looking for the coefficient of x raised to the power 8. That means the power of x must be 8. Here, we are having 2n minus 3 arrow. So what it means that we must make everything here equal to 8 so that we'll have x raised to the power 8. Since the question says the coefficient of x raised to the power of 8. To do that, I will set 2n minus 3 arrow to 8, since everything here, which is the power of x, must be 8. 2n minus 3 arrow is equal to 8. Remember, the value of n is known, which is 10. So this will be 2 times 10, and that's what, 20. 
So let's solve for arrow, okay? Collecting like terms, eight will cross and turn to minus. Minus three arrow will cross and turn to plus three arrow. 20 minus eight is 12. Divide both sides by three. Arrow is equal to what? Four. Good. So arrow is four and n is 10. That means this will be 10 combination four. I hope you get it now. You have gotten arrow. Then x raised to power eight. If you put 10 for n like we did, and you put four for arrow, we'll get eight here. Two times 10 is 20. Three times four is 12. 20 minus 12 is eight. Times two y raised to the power arrow, and arrow is four. What is 10 combination four? We have 10 factorial all over 10 minus four factorial times four factorial times the x raised to the power eight times two raised to the power four is 16 times the y raised to the power four, all right? We have 10 factorial all over 10 minus four factorial is six factorial times four factorial times x to the power of eight times 16 y to the power of four. 10 factorial is 10 times nine times eight times seven times six factorial. I'm stopping at six factorial because we have a six factorial here. Four factorial is four times three times two times one. Then times the x raised to the power of eight times 16 y raised to the power of four. Six factorial cancel six factorial, okay? Four times two is eight, we cancel eight. Three here is one, three here is three. So we have 10 times three times seven times 16, you get it? 10 times three times seven times 16 is 3360. 3360 times the y raised to the power of 4 times the x raised to the power of 8. This is the term that has x raised to the power of 8. Good. So the coefficient of x raised to the power of 8 is every other thing that is here apart from the x raised to the power of 8, which is 3360 y to the power of 4. 3000. 360y to the power of 4. So the coefficient of x to the power of 8 in the binomial expansion of that expression that we are giving is 3360y to the power of 4. All right? I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Keep watching. <laughs>